So the boys and I are gonna do part of the Pagama Marathon, but we're gonna walk it. Mark hopes to run it in May, maybe. But this is the first hill. Okay, we've come up, what, 10 minutes? 15 minutes. The farmhouse is over there. Way up on the hill. Not that one, of course, the other one, way in the background. There's the mountain that some of you have hiked. So. Okay, it's mucky muddy, okay, so very steep. There's some lambs there, see it? Yeah. See the little lambs oh, wait, wait, just wait. born? No, 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 sorry. There's <laughs> less than a third. The gamma? <laughs> <laughs> of what? Of the game. Okay. It's Corri's Rocky section or whatever with me, and like we would both be the same, you know. Can I have There's water? an old. No one else can. Yeah. Have What's not left? Rock. What's the only bit left of an old barn? There are hundreds, like probably, down hundreds, down surely, down here in these mountains. Okay, so we go by a ton of these. These are for pigeon hunting. When the pigeons are on their pass south, they come by by the thousands. That's uh, big stuff. They eat them, the restaurants serve the pigeons. They're big pigeons, they're like small chickens. And they know how to fix them. Okay, so we've been at it for about 65 minutes. And uh, we've, my watch says we've done uh, uh, four and a half kilometers. That's about just under three miles. We're at the top of the ridge. Okay, so there's the Aitzkori. Looks down over Tegama, which is way around the hill. And we're up at about, oh, not quite a thousand meters. No. Okay, we're at. The path actually goes there somewhere and we made a detour. Oh, that might be the top, guys. Maybe that's where we go. Anyway, this is a an old rock quarry. The boys made a movie on it many years ago. The world ended right here. Anyway, that's where we would might meet Mimi, drive up from town, or we may keep on going across those. All right, so we have hey Mark, what have we done? An, an eighth of the course? Mark? An eighth of the course? More or less an eighth of the marathon we walked it in about 75 minutes. Okay, so we have crossed the road. We came up those mountains there. The picture I took of the boys was on top of that, which is on top of a rock quarry. And then we walked our way down. This is a little mountain pass that we drive over a lot. And we've crossed it and we're going up the mountain okay marks up there running somewhere and uh, you can see all the hunters what do we call them that's where the race keeps on going down and then down into the town there's david he's making it too Okay, we came along there. That's the uh, rock quarry. Went across there. Oh my, somewhere down there. And then came up through that, over that hill, down here to that corral where they corral up the horses. They send them off to the, well anyway, they send them off. And now we're going here and we're going up to that one. And then down the hill to the Adrian Quiet Cave and back up. We're not going to do that, but this is where the race goes to the top of the Arriscorri, uh, uh, down to some other peaks that are lower down, and then back down into the town. Crazy. <laughs> and uh, Aaron was okay. Yeah. There's the Arriscorri. And this is the park. We were at a little while ago, right there. And 
uh, we went down the valley and up and over across here where all these horses are. That's the little markers we see everywhere. You can see them all the way up, everywhere you go. Okay, this is actually a sign of pigs. All of this is wild pigs eating up the land. Okay. Oh man, we have a ton of pigs. Yeah, we have a there. Down. Way up there. Those are way higher than we are. And we've already been hiking for three hours. We have done 13 kilometers. We were over there. Anyway, they got us way down there. And we have a lot that we're not, I don't know, we're wanting to find it back. Now Mark could, but I mean, David's cramping already. And so I don't know what we're going to be able to do. Yes. The next section was so long and incredibly steep and high up to 1500 meters that we probably were going to run out of daylight before even doing it. So it just doesn't make sense. So we're heading back to a rendezvous where the ladies are gonna meet up. Hopefully with some good bocadillos. So Mark headed on ahead to the rendezvous with the ladies running down this treacherous stuff. Doesn't look like it in the video, but it's, whoa, crazy steep. Well, oh, steep. <laughs> and we want to make it down alive. <laughs> okay, so David and I are heading back. We got to run up that hill. <laughs> but we're getting some water straight from nature. Okay, we're still working our way back, but look at these elm trees. These are natural to here, and they have that typical shape. Although I think that means that 100 plus years, whenever they were made to do that, to crown out there, that was man-made. And they crown out and uh, uh, I've read up a little bit on that, but that's what the Basque would do for various reasons to use the wood later. 